In the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing about control statements in C. In the previous videos, I have discussed if statement and if else statements. Complete means the in detail form, the, the structure of those if and if else statements with the program we have discussed, how to use those statements and some, you know, what tricky kind of uh, questions can be formed using if and if else statements and what errors you, uh, you can do, the beginners can do while writing those statements in program. So everything we have discussed about those statements. Now in this video, I'll be talking about nested if statements, everything about nested if general syntax of writing nested if, how to use this statement, the structure of the uh, nested if using flowchart as well as you will take a program and we will see the output of that program when uh, in that program we are going to use nested if uh, statement. So everything we will be, uh, we'll be discussing in this video about a nested if. So now let us discuss about nested if. It is what nesting of if means within if we can use another if like this. There is one if, what is the syntax of writing if? Here we are writing some conditions right and if the condition is true then the control will go within this if block. So within this if again we can write another if. Suppose here, here I am writing condition 1 and condition 2. Again if you want to write again you can write here if condition 3, if condition 4 like this up to n. It is not like that you can only write 2 if nesting if. You can do uh, multiple uh, you know uh, you can write multiple if means uh, one if within if then in this one more if then in that one more if like this. So, I am writing just two if just to make you understand and now inner if block statement this I am considering as outer if this I am considering as inner if right I am just taking a two if you can take multiple if also. So, now if this condition one is true then only control will go in this block and then only this condition would be checked and if this condition is true then control will go within this if block and these statements would be executed. I am writing these curly braces because I am writing here inner if block statements means multiple statements. If one statement is there then you can uh, remove you can uh, remove these curly braces right. And it is not like that you can only write if here with this if you can also write else right and here you can write inner else block statement. That is it and now you can close this if right and after that this is if with this if you can write else for this if right and here you can write down some you can say outer else block statements and after this if else block suppose I am writing in a program uh, you can say statement uh, suppose I am writing x right. So now what is the working of this see you can write down this multiple if uh, you, know, you know in many ways if you will not write this else you can skip this else you can simply write if and only if means one if no else. And here also you can skip this else that is also fine or you can write down else and here also for this if you can write down else that is uh, fine you can write down this nesting of if in multiple ways right or you can call it nested if else because I am writing if else within this if else block. So now this condition would be checked only if this condition is true if this condition is false then control will not go within this block within this if block and directly control will go to this else block right like you can take that example if you go to supermarket then what if oranges are available buy oranges this this condition you can write down in a if uh, block like like this if like this if go to supermarket then again check if oranges available buy oranges right if you don't go to supermarket then obviously you cannot check the oranges are available or not in the supermarket for that you have to go to supermarket. So that is why to execute to check this condition first of all this condition should be true you have to go to supermarket then only you can check oranges are available or not or within this if again you can write one more if like if suppose good oranges then only buy. Right? otherwise no need to buy. So for this opening curly braces this is closing, for this this is closing and for this this is closing braces. This uh, mistake generally students do please take care of this thing for every opening braces there should be a closing braces right. So to check this condition first of all what condition should be true? This condition obviously right. Then this condition must be true means oranges should be available there then only you can check oranges are good or bad right. Then you can check this condition and then you will buy it right. It means to check this condition to go to check the inner if condition the outer if condition must be true here right. So this is what uh, the general uh, structure of writing nest uh, syntax of writing nested if 
if you write a flow chart then how you can draw that flow chart of this if nested if condition and see it is not always necessary to write two if even one if you can write and just you, you can do your uh, task how you can do that task how rather than these two if i can write a single if and that will work same as the two if are working nested if are working that we will discuss in a with with the help of an example with the help of a program first of all uh, let me draw a flow chart of this thing the, this is programming executing now first of all we check we got first condition condition one right now if this condition is true then only true means this condition would be checked again one more condition that is condition 2 right if this condition is true then this block would be executed so if this is true then what should be executed inner if block statement right and suppose if this condition is true and this has been executed so now where the control will go the control will not go to the cells right control will not go to the cells because already this condition is true so after that control will go out of this if and else block that is statement x or any statement that as part of that program would be executed and those statements are not part of this this if else block so uh, I, I i would say statement x would be executed here and if this condition is false the first condition is false then control will not enter into this if block right control will directly go to this else block right because either this would be executed or this would be executed right now no condition would be checked here now what would be executed outer else block condition right outer o means outer else block before block and statements and after this this statement would be executed that is this x would be executed this would be the flow of this one and if suppose we have one more condition here if condition 3 then what happened if this condition is true then again we will check one more condition condition 3 right i think you got the idea of the flow chart and the working of this nested if so let me write down a program now so here i want to check I am just entering age and salary of the employees in any company or any college and I want to check if age is greater than 50 right then check if salary of those candidates whose age are greater than 60 greater than 50 if salary is less than uh, 60k then increment would be 10,000 if salary is greater than 60k then increment would be 5,000 and if age is less than 50 then increment would be uh, suppose uh, 3000 so now first of all check if age is greater than 50 now for all the candidates for all the uh, you know faculties whose age is greater than 50 you have to check if salary is greater than sorry uh, salary is uh, greater than or less than uh, you can write less than 60k right then what you want salary would be incremented 10,000 right otherwise if age is greater than 50 but salary is greater than 60k then salary would be incremented as with 5,000 right and now end of this if and if age is less than 50 means age is not greater than 50 then salary would be incremented as after this if I am not writing here because I guess you cannot see this I am writing this else here for this if else is this one else salary would be incremented with 3000 rupees right and after this if else I am uh, writing what suppose print f end of program and that's it you can write here get ch and you can include clr scr and that header file also right so now this is what nesting of if one if within this if i am writing another if right 
So, suppose this is our output screen when you enter the, when you run this program this is our output screen and you will be asked enter age and salary and suppose I am uh, entering age is equal to 53 right and salary I am uh, uh, writing about 45,000. So, now first of all this would be checked 53 age is greater than 50 yes this is true. Now, control will go to this block salary less than 60k salary less than 60k yes this condition is also true. Now, salary would be incre incremented with 10,000 and here you can print salary right means that what would be printed here if you print salary here 55,000 right suppose and this else would not be executed this else would not be executed right I hope you know the working why I am saying this and now after if what should be would be printed printf end of program. Suppose I am writing age is 53 but salary is 70k now this condition is true now control will go here salary less than 60k no it is greater than 60k. So, now this if statement would not be executed now control will go to this else for this if this is this else. Now, salary would be incre incremented by 5000 and you can print salary here. Now, what output you will get 75000 and after that this else would not be executed and you will get output end of program right and suppose I am entering age is equal to 45 and salary is 70k. Now, this condition would be checked A is greater than 50 no. So, control will not go here this condition would not be checked in this case directly control will go to this else block and salary would be incre incremented by 3000 and suppose you are printing the salary here then output you will get 73k right and after that end of program. Now, rather than writing this two if can we write down the, these two conditions in a single if yes you can write how you can write using logical end operator here you can write what if a is greater than 50 and salary less than 60k in that case no need to write down this if because I am checking both the condition in one statement only right and here directly you can write salary would be incremented in this case 10,000 else salary would be incremented 5,000 and this else would be same. Yes you can write down these two if in a single if right and in this well, more than one condition we can also check it is not like that we can only check two condition three condition four condition five condition just write down logical end one more condition logical end one more condition logical end one more condition it is up to you how many conditions you want to check right. So, that is just give you an idea that what is working of nested, nested if and rather than nesting if you can write down logical end operator and you can write down a single if also right. So, now I hope you got the idea about this thing now assignment for you is you have to take what uh, three numbers and you have to find out maximum among three numbers right and you need to solve that program using nested if you cannot use this logical end operator you have to solve using this nested if. So, this is you can say a challenge for you. So, you can write down in comment box that you are going to solve it or not and if you have solved it then you can tell me in comment box and um, if you want then you can send me that program or that screenshot of that program on my Instagram account right. So, now that is it about nested if and here also suppose I am not using this end this is a you know video to get uh, you familiar with nested if. So, I am writing this if here and if you suppose write here semicolon then it will give error right because if you are terminating this if and for if this if you are writing this else. So, you will get an error misplaced else or else without a previous if. So, you cannot terminate this if you cannot terminate here this if because here also you are writing a else right. So, you need to take care of this thing and you can do your own like you are writing a program and just put a semicolon here and see what output you are getting do, uh, and um, do not write this else and then put a semicolon then check what output you are getting or at th this here you can put semicolon and check what output you are getting with this else and suppose if you are not writing this else in the, that case you are writing semicolon at that time what output you will get right. So, check out the you know try to do some experiments with these programs and uh, with these things and try to you know make small small programs with these experiments then only you will get familiar with these concepts and you do not have to really memorize these things. You will understand these uh, things if you are familiar if you you know do some practice with hands on uh, do some practice and some uh, write down some programs on these uh, things.
and better to write down programs with pen and paper first of all dry run that program and then switch to then jump to your laptop right so now that's it about nested if in the next video i'm going to talk about else if letter statement so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care